For the DIY film developer looking to get into C41 colour film developing, your best option is to pick up a press kit. The C41 press kits are marketed by a number of different companies, but they're all invariably the same, which is they contain four sachets. One will be labelled Developer, one is labelled Blix A, one is labelled Blix B, which are combined to form your Blix, which is a bleach and fixer all in one. And the final one is your stabiliser. Although the instructions for this particular Jobo kit call for you to use the entire sachet to a 1 litre of water ratio, for greater economy I like to split them. I'm measuring out a 16.5 gram amount of developing powder and we'll be putting in a 250 ml amount of distillated water. This is the correct amount of water to fill the developing tank that you can see up on the top left there. Once you've tipped out the amount of developing powder that you need, it's important to expel as much air as possible. So I roll up the sachet, then I place it inside a Ziploc bag. Once we're finished with this entire project, I will be placing all four sachets inside their Ziploc bags, inside a larger Ziploc bag. It's important to expel as much air as possible to extend the shelf life of your powder as long as possible. Then you can store it in a cool dry place. I store mine underneath the bathroom sink. Now I'm going to be measuring out the amount of distillated water. I'll be using a Pyrex measuring cup and you may notice I don't have a lot of special equipment here. It's all stuff that I bought at Walmart in the homeware section. That's a household kitchen scale. You can see two meat thermometers in the background for measuring water temperatures. And the jars themselves are snap lock lid cookie jars with rubber gaskets. Now I pour in my 250 ml of water to my 16.5 grams of developing chemical, and I'll be using a stainless steel chopstick to mix it all together. Now that the developer is mixed, we're going to be mixing the two Blix sachets together as well as 250 milliliters of distilled water. The correct ratio for Blix A is 40 grams and the correct ratio for Blix B will be 20.5 grams combined then mixed with 250 ml of distillated water. The reason I use distillated water is because all of the impurities have been removed from it. You could use standard tap water, however you run a risk that there might be bits and pieces that have picked up in the pipes or whatever. Whereas with the distillated, you are guaranteed that it is 100% pure clean water and your end results will be better. Now that we're finished with Blix A, we'll be putting in the Blix B. Blix is a compound of bleach for bleaching the negatives and a fixer for fixing the negatives and stopping the developing process.
Now we can roll up the Blix package, put it into its Ziploc bag, add the water, and start agitating with our chopstick. In between each mixing procedure, make sure that you clean your agitator as you don't want chemical cross-contamination. No, the 1980s are not back. That is not a sachet of cocaine. It just looks like it. That is our stabilizing powder. The 250 milliliters of water. The amount of stabilizer required is 1.25 grams. It's a very small amount. So it's best to take your time whilst measuring. Now we measure out the water and we mix up this final chemical. Once the stabilizer is all mixed up, the chemicals are ready to be heated up and used. Now your new chemical should have a shelf life of between two to three months if you store it in a airtight container as we have.